I've been meaning to tell this story, so I'm going to tell this story right here. Um, I used to go visit my homeboy in federal prison in Kentucky. First, he was in West Virginia. I went up there a couple of times. Then they moved him to Kentucky. So he was, he was going to marry this girl, right, from Durham. She was going to marry him while he was in prison. Make a long story short. So he called me, you know, because he was in a federal prison. They can call, they got, you can put time on the phone and call. So he called me and they, he was like, yo, he was like, shout, I'm, I'm going to marry this girl, or whatever. She be coming up here with my niece, right? So he was like, I want you to drive her since you drive buses and all that. They have driven buses. I don't, I, I don't think I was driving buses at the time. But anyway, I think I was, like, part-time with, uh, like, Southern Coach or something. But anyway, I said, okay, I'll do it for you. So the thing was, she was supposed to pick me up, her and the girl. And, uh, you know, man, she got a car from somebody or something. They came pick me up. I drove them Kentucky. We left, like, this is, like, 2010, I think, 2009. We left, like, late at night, about 11, 12 at night. I drove all, <laughs> I drove from 12 o'clock that night, that morning, 12 a.m. to like 1 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, because we went all the way from North Carolina, Durham, to Owen, Kentucky, which is on the border with Evansville, Indiana. Like I, like, I drove all the way through Kentucky. They smoked in that car all night. I'm talking about till they went to sleep. Then they woke up in the morning while we was in Kentucky and were drinking again. We went from like, say, uh, Wilmington to Asheville, like from, the, from all the way to the beginning of Kentucky through to the end of Kentucky. They were smoking, smoking me out the car. I was getting contact and everything. So we finally get to the hotel, right? This is the story. They was going to get married. This was like Friday. They were going to get married on Saturday. No, they got married. They got married. Yeah. We got there Friday. They were going to get married on Saturday. That's how it went down. So Friday, we just checked in. And uh, I, I'm trying to remember this thing. But it, but it was a white girl at the counter. We were in Kentucky now. We in Ashland, Kentucky. I never, I've been through Ashland. I've never been there. Now, I've been there to visit my homie, I think, a couple, one time or two times. But I had driven a bus through there, though, before, like going to Indiana and Ohio. I've been through, that's through um, Lexington, Kentucky, Lex, you know, Lexington and Louisville. I've been, yeah, I've been up that way. Anyway, i never been, like, stayed in Ashland, I, I think. I can't fucking remember. I, I've, been, I've been, I don't know. Anyway, just, here go the story. This white girl was working behind the counter. Okay. I'm, all that other shit is why I was in Kentucky. The white girl worked behind the counter. So, we checking in. We checked in and everything. Then, um, I asked, I came downstairs. I said, yo, y'all got a uh, computer room. What are your computer room? Because I wanted to go in and get on a computer and get on like a dating site. I had talked to a couple of females in Kentucky, so I was gonna see where they near Ashland, you know what I mean? That's what I did. I got with like all over the United States. Anyway, cause I was driving buses everywhere. So the white girl was like, yeah, we got a room right there. She gave, she gave me the, she told me where the room was. I went in there and she, she was, but she, before I went in there, she was like, I was like, I'm about to get on tag. You ever heard of that before? She said, yeah, I'm on tag. You know what I mean? A dating site, right? So I was like, what's your name on there? I'm going to look you up and friend request you. So I did. And I went, in, I went in the room, and I was like, yo, um, I'm texting her, right? It's the message. She hit me back. She was like, that everybody got a, it's, it was snowing. It was snowing. So let me make that clear. We in Kentucky now. When it's snowing in Kentucky, like West Virginia, it's like being upstate New York. 
up in uh, Auburn, some Auburn, Albany, uh, some fucking where. It snows up there. Greenville, Albany, Fisk Hill. It snows up there. So she was like, she was like, um. She hit me up. She was like, uh, yeah, we stand in the hotel because she said all, all the housekeeping and the people who was at work that day stand in the hotel because if they leave, they're not going to be able to get out because it's snowing and some of them live in like rural areas in Kentucky. So I was like, word. I was like, so you got a room up in here? She was like, yeah. So... Man, I'm trying to figure out. I don't think, I don't think I messed with her that night. I don't think. I can't remember when it was, but anyway, all I can tell you is we went to the. I think the next day, I think it was the next day on Saturday. We went to the uh, prison. They got married in the prison. I was a witness. His niece was a witness. They got married. We came back to the hotel. I was like, we was gonna leave that Sunday. Sunday, I think. You know what I mean? So I was like. Um, It ain't nothing to do here. Like, I, so I asked the girl, like, um, I don't know, where, where, you know, where, where we could go get like some lip beer or something, get me some beer or something, chill out. So she she told us where to go. We went and got there, and I came back. Then I don't know what I came downstairs that night, man. And the girl, I've been talking to the white girl, like, you know, this back, you know, like, you know, man, you know, I'm chilling, I'm in the room, it's bored up here, it's boring here, like, when it, I'm, I'm with these girls, and they, ain't, we don't know, they don't know nowhere to go, it's snow on the ground, a little bit, like, icy, so, I'm talking to her, she was like, um, these people, they were, they were, they were, they were Shriners, they were Shriners, and they, they, they hang at this large, Cross the street from the hotel sometime. So they all, they was over there that, this night. And they all had rooms over here at this hotel. So she, the girl behind the counter, introduced me to them. And I had on a Masonic shirt. So boom. And they were all white now. These were white people from Kentucky. So, but I had on a Masonic shirt. So it was like I was there. It was family. So anyway, I'm sitting down there with them. I'm drinking. They had some, they told me it was moonshine, but I can't drink moonshine. You know what I mean? But this I could drink. It was, it looked like grape. It, it tastes like grape juice. I'll just be real with you. It tastes like grape juice. I'm like, ooh, ooh, yeah, this good. They was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't, don't drink that like that. Don't drink that like that. I was like, what? Man, I'm good. Y'all don't know me. I could drink. You know what I mean? So I got another cup. Choo, 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 chugging it down. I drank about about three cups of this joint and a beer. Okay, so I I was in the I I'm, I was in the bed. I was in the bed. I was sit I was sitting with them drinking. And then I was in the bed. I don't know how I got to the room. Nothing. I was in the bed. The white girl was slapping me, I think. Somebody was hitting me, The white, you know, the white girl. So then the white girl started giving me all the sex, you know what I'm saying? But I was asleep. I, I wake up and then I fall back to sleep. Then the white girl jumped on top of me and was riding me. You know what I mean? I was in and out. But I, I, I saw it was her and I relaxed. And, you know, she ride, ride me, so. That's how, the next morning I just, I woke up. I was like, holy shit. Sick as a dog. Went to the bathroom, threw up. Oh, God, Lord. Went, I went downstairs. <laughs> saw the white people. I said, I got to get some water, juice or something. I got to get something. Oh, my God, I'm sick. So, I, I, remember, I remember the white girl telling me her room number. So, I went to her room. And I... I was sick, and I, but I still was able to have sex with the white girl. And I left out of her room and went back to my room and fell asleep. Till, till, till it was time. I don't know when we left. or They went back to the prison to visit him. I, I said, I can't go. 
Anyway. We left. I thought we left after they came back from the prison. I, I got myself together about checkout time, 11 to 12. We left. I told that girl she got to drive it. And I told her how to get to like 77, Interstate 77, and take that shit all the way to like West Virginia. <laughs> Wake me up with it. Don't make no turns. Just keep, just keep straight. Wake me up when you got a problem. Don't make a turn without waking me up. So anyway, we 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 going we going down the highway. White girl texts me. She like I, I got fired. I said why you get why you get fired? So I said how? She said she said one of the housekeeping girls saw me coming out of her room or her coming out of my room and reported her. I said that's a player hating ass bitch right there, man. But anyway. That's one of my Kentucky stories, man. I can't. It's, it was. Too, I can't remember this whole story, but I know that white girl raped me. That's all I know, man. And it was. I, that how that happened? How, I mean, what, like, what kind of shit happened? I mean, how did that? Yo.